Hi friends, this is our uh, next lecture on percentages. So let's get started. The question says there are two numbers. When the first number is increased by 125%, the obtained number is 300 less than the second number. And if the first number is increased by 150, then the obtained number is 200 less than the second number. Find out the sum of the two numbers. This is your question. Now, as and when you are reading a question, by the time you reach the end of the question, you should be able to assimilate the information correctly and also you should know what method to follow, right? It should strike in your mind. This comes with practice, right? Practicing every question in the smart way will help you and that will definitely give you an edge over, right? Now, as and when you see a question, don't bluntly go with equations, right? This is a normal a traditional way of the solving the question as and when people read the question they start assuming x s y s all these things but don't imagine that way. Your first step should be trying to uh, solving the question without using any variables which means you are actually understanding the question correctly right. So before solving this question try to pause the video and solve it on your own and then you compare your solution with mine that that will be the most effective way of learning the techniques right. So so let me solve this question right there are two numbers okay so let this be first number and let this be second number there are two numbers when the first number is increased by 125 percent the obtained number is 300 less than the second number so i will increase this by 125 percent if this number is increased by 125 percent i'll be getting i'll be getting third number right so i'll be getting third number here one two three is nothing but first number second number and third number now he says that the difference here is nothing but how much 300 okay 300 less than the second number that's why i have written 3 to the left side of uh, 2 similarly he says if the first number is increased by 150 don't think it is a print mistake 150 is correct right so if the number is increased by 150 then the obtained number will be 200 less than the second number 200 less than the second number means uh, definitely the third number obtained will be uh, more in the second case right now this happens when there is an increase of plus 150 okay now if you are well versed with solving the questions orally you need not even draw the diagram as and when you are reading the question you will be able to imagine this diagram in your mind right now 150 is increased you get the third number and the distance between third number and second number will be how much it will be 200 okay 200 here is the number 2 now always whenever you are solving questions with uh, without using any variables your assumptions play an important role right the more smarter way you assume the more smarter the solution will be right here what can i assume i will assume that my first number is not increased by 150 right what i can do is when my first number is increased by 150 then i am getting a number which is 200 less than the second number now imagine you are not increasing your first number what happens then you are not increasing your numbers first number by 150 i am taking 150 because that is a constant i am not giving 150 to my third number i am not i am not increasing my first number with 150 so this 150 i am not increasing so what happens is the distance between the third number and second number will increase further agree why because if i am giving 150 if i am increasing one with 150 i am getting a number three uh, i am getting a third number which is 200 this 200 meters let it imagine meters or kilometers anything or 200 units away from two now what is happening is i am not increasing my one my first number with 150 so what happens for what will be the result of this on the third number the third number will move even left side right even uh, further left so what happens is if i don't increase this okay let this be this i'll draw with a blue color so this will be minus 150 i'm not increasing that means i'm not uh, increasing okay so here you will get the third number and the distance between third number and the second number now will be it will move 150 units further left right so it will be 350 that's it okay now you have to observe one thing here my one is here here also one here also one. the first number is not moving anywhere because i am keeping the first number as constant my second number is also not moving anywhere right it is also at the same place what is the difference you can see here you have three here okay right you have three here and you have three here let us do this 
right so if you draw a line here third number third number this is your another number okay this particular distance this particular distance what is this particular distance difference is nothing but here it is 350 and here is 30 so from here to here it is 350 right from here to here it is 350 and here to here 30 so this difference is nothing but 50 right if you consider this case and this case what you are seeing there the difference this difference of 50 is happening because there is an increase of 125 percent that's it right in this case there is no change with one first number is not changing right but here there is an increase of 125 percent and that is the reason why you are getting this gap of 50 so from this what you can say is 125 percent is equivalent to 50 now remember any time whenever you want to find a original number that means you have to take 100 percent 100 percent of a number will be the original number 125 percent is equivalent to 50 means so to get my original number there is a first number which is my base number i will take i will have to calculate what is the value for 100 percent so it will be 1 by 125 into 100 i hope you understood this step 125 percent is equivalent to 50 means 1 percent will be equivalent to 50 by 125 right 50 by 125 i will send 125 this side now 100% will be equivalent I will multiply 100 on both sides so it will be this one my 100% value will be equal to this one so 5 times are 525 are 25 goes 4 times so this will be 40 that means my original number is nothing but 40 we got this now your question is not about first number or second number your question is the sum of a first number and second number what is your second number here so once you got your uh, first number first number how will you find your second number it's simple your first number is nothing but 40 let me replace this done your first number is 40 and from 40 your first number the distance to the third number is 150 right that means when your 40 is increased by 150 okay when your 40 is increased by 150 you will get your third number so what is your third number here 40 plus 150 which is 190 right so when you got 190 it is at a difference of 200 units from 2 right so what will be your value of 2 your value of 2 will be plus 200 which is 390 so your first number is 40 your second number is 390 what is the sum of both the numbers it will be 430 that's it so 430 will be your answer now this question might look complex but don't worry I, I this is a tougher question only this is a level 5 question but then I told you the easiest way to solve the question right now don't get uh, demotivated by looking at the level 5 questions it helps you to think in a logical way right now in this question what is your takeaway your takeaway is you first draw, draw the picture like uh, what is the representation you identify the constants go by the difference so once you got this uh, what, what from this diagram what you can see is everywhere it is fine 2 is fine here 1 is fine here in the same line but then here it is 300 and here it is 350 this difference of 50 why you are getting that difference of 50 why you are getting the difference of 50 there the reason being is simple because your first number is increased by 125 percent right so 125 percent means what is the difference again here between this first case and third case if you draw a line like this the difference is coming as this one that means when you are increasing by 150 percent 120 per 120 percent you are getting a difference of 50 that's why i'm taking first case and third case why not second and third case because here also it is a value here also it is a value you cannot solve a question that way right to, to solve a question you need a variable and a constant right like 5x is equal to 3 only then you will be able to solve what is the value of x right similar way here it is 125 percent and here i'm seeing a particular value there and that's why i'm taking equation 1 and 3 that's it right i hope you understood this question if not watch the video once again